Hey St. Pete, this is Steven Hersfeld, commercial realtor with the Jack Smith Group. Thanks for tuning in and we hope you enjoy this quick video about a little bit of history in St. Petersburg, Florida. God, what I wouldn't do for a bagel right now. I'm starving. Karen, you said you wanted a bagel? I've got one right here. Is this a peach bagel? It is. Oh my God, my favorite, I love them. Did you know they have a new drive-through right here on 4th Street South? A drive-through bagel store? Uh-huh. Oh my goodness, my prayers have been answered. Your morning commute will never be the same. A bagel and tea or coffee. Oh, heaven. Hello, St. Pete, and thanks for joining us today. I'm at 2439 4th Street South, where this former Standard Oil service station is getting a new lease on life, literally and figuratively. Built in 1926, this 306 square foot building was one of thousands of the original Standard Oil gas stations that were ubiquitous across much of the United States. Today, just five remain. Odell, Illinois, Plainfield, Illinois, Bowling Green, Kentucky, Plant City, Florida, and this one here in sunny St. Petersburg. Standard Oil was founded in 1870 by none other than renowned businessman, John D. Rockefeller, and one of Florida's original real estate developers, Henry Flagler. At its peak, Standard Oil was the largest company in the world, but eventually was disbanded in 1911 after a U.S. antitrust lawsuit over anti-competitive business and monopolistic business practices. Over the years, this facility changed hands several times, including one seizure by Pinellas County in a tax lien foreclosure over delinquent property taxes. As time passed, eventually it fell into disrepair. In recent years, the property caught the attention of formal councilman and South St. Pete resident, Robert Blackman. Disheartened by the dilapidated building, Blackman saw the potential for the property as a catalyst for improvement and investment in the Harbordale neighborhood. Fast forward to today, and the property is unrecognizable from the days when weeds and shrubs obscured the building from the street, and its roof was composed of a patchwork of scrap lumber and yard signs with a tar overlay. Recently, Blackman filed for and was awarded a zoning variance, allowing the property to serve customers from a drive-through just as it did as a gas station almost 100 years ago. So what's next for this historic property? Coming in early 2024, this will be the site of the new Pete's drive through an express version of our city's beloved Pete's Bagels, where morning commuters can pull up for a bagel and their morning coffee. In commercial real estate, this kind of redevelopment is what's known as adaptive reuse. This is when an outdated or historic property is retrofitted to accommodate a new owner or tenant whose business has different needs than what was originally intended for the building. Adaptive reuse has proven to be an effective strategy for cities and developers across the country who seek to balance economic demands and historic preservation. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, whether you're buying your first home, selling a luxury waterfront mansion, or investing in commercial property for your business, the Jack Smith Group is the team you need. As always, St. Pete, stay sunny. Thanks for joining us today, St. Pete. We hope you enjoyed the video. For all of your commercial real estate needs or residential, get in touch with us here at the Jack Smith Group. Our contact info is right below in the description of the video.